so uh, minute hand should become active only when the minute becomes one when it is zero it need not be active right uh, i'll get into generate data once again generate chart data this is the one and uh, Cool, right? Now we'll have uh, once the minute crosses one, you will have two uh, entries. This is fine, and we'll do some other basic calculations uh, here as well, so that uh, update time as well, so that uh, uh, we are adjusting for every say every time uh, the second hand crosses fifty nine. There will be a few. There will be a slight lag in the. Uh, you will understand that later, guys. Once I adjust it and then show you, you will understand it. Uh, so what I'll do is for, uh, seconds will be uh, if it is uh, minutes is zero, then no issues. If minutes is one, that is uh, seconds are greater than fifty nine. That is uh, seven seconds become sixty or sixty one or sixty two or something like that. It will automatically the minute will be one, right? So uh, fifty nine into one is 59 i'll remove that from the seconds cool right so if it's 65 seconds then automatically it will be uh, 65 minus 59 that is 6 and this is 1 minute right so 6 minus 1 5 5 seconds is the one that will get passed here you understand why i am doing this correction right because once you convert the seconds it will automatically after 59 it will be 59 60 61 and after 119 it will 120 it will be 121 122 123 124 and 125 but in the uh, circular entry value we just need to go from 0 to 59 you get where i am going with this right so uh, after one whenever it reaches 59 we need to subtract those specific uh, whenever it crosses 59 we need to subtract those specific uh, count from the number of seconds say for instance the seconds is 180 okay and it's going 181 182 183 184 185 186 187 59 into minutes will be in this case 3 right so uh, 9 threes are 27 50 threes are uh, 150 so 177 187 minus 177 is 10 cool right and uh, seconds equal second, seconds minus minutes. Minutes is 3. 10 minus 3, 7. So 7 is the value that will be getting passed here. Which is what we need, right? If it crosses 180, 181, 182, 183, 180, rather than passing it as 181, 182, 182, 183, 184, we need to pass it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? So now with this example, you can see, uh, I mean, with this small uh, arithmetic operation, you can see how we are correcting that particular uh, uh, number of uh, i think i confused you big time guys if you are confused right now don't worry once you see this you will understand it see this in action you will understand it so right now we have uh, adjusted the seconds and then uh, we have edited this accordingly to tackle that as well right let's save this and see if we see any errors i'll reset this once again we'll start this let's wait till 59 we are almost there we are almost there wow you see what happened right now a uh, new minute segment has been added as we saw the old uh, circular entry this one was removed and a new circular entry for the seconds has been added as well now let's see this if it uh, gets to two minutes then this should automatically increase and at 159 itself this should go back to uh, 0 that is it will start from 0 1 2 3 again okay let's see if this if that uh, scenario passes as well wow it was really cool right after 59 it automatically reset back to uh, 0 1 2 and this also incremented as well 
so uh, this is the stopwatch that i promised to uh, build at the start right if i stop it will automatically be easy. the chat will vanish but the time will still exist if i start it will start from exactly where it left off see on a mobile device this would look really cool guys trust me when i say this i already tried that on a mobile device this effect will be stunning but uh, on an emulator it doesn't anyway um, uh, we, let's not compare the performance between a uh, uh, <laughs> mobile device with a graphical chip and uh, emulator that is running based on the ram of my old laptop anyway uh, uh, this is exactly what i said we'll be building uh, in these two videos right now we have built an entirely different uh, stopwatch concept using a flutter circular charts usually people whenever they show a charts demo They'll simply uh, hard code some data and then uh, show you how to represent that data in a chart way, in a, using a chart, right? I didn't want to do that same boring stuff that everyone does. So I thought I'll rather get real-time values from the user or real-time values uh, from a stopwatch and then build a chart from that. So that's exactly what I did here. And uh, uh, if you want to move forward from this, if you have finished, you, if you tried this and it worked for you as well, and if you wish to move forward from this, kindly go ahead and try to get the time, the current time from the device, and then represent it using a second hand, a minute hand, and an hour hand. You get where I, uh, what I just said, right? It follows almost exactly the same logic, but you need to do uh, some clever tweakings here and there. That's it. Kindly try to do that. Even if you can't do that, kindly drop it in, drop a comment below. And uh, I mean, if you would like me to do that, kindly drop a comment below and I'll do that video as well. Uh, it's exactly based on the same uh, design approach. Anyway, guys, uh, buy my course to support me. If you like this video, kindly hit the like button. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, kindly hit subscribe uh, to see more cool stuff like this. Uh, and uh, what else? Yeah, buy my course. It's available. Uh, the link is available in the description below. Join our Flutter community. This entire code will be available on GitHub as well. Once again, link is available in the description. Star this repo if you like all the coding work that I'm doing. There are also some other uh, repositories there. I have even added a, a comprises of the entire authentication system. You can use it for your uh, proof of concept apps or even your college projects or real applications as well. Anyway, this is my GitHub profile. That's all I wanted to say. Sign up, follow uh, me on GitHub as well. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, it it should, uh, Hit like on this video. It, uh, it would really be some sort of appreciation to me. And uh, yeah, we can have fun with this uh, cool stopwatch flutter chart application, guys. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Mostly, I'll bring in my camera in my next video. I found my battery yesterday, but uh, I haven't charged it as of now. So anyway, uh, if I start ranting, I'll keep on ranting. Subscribe. Uh, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.